Chris from Tech Tablets here. I've just finished running the Resident Evil 5 benchmark here in 720p with the default settings, DirectX 10. It's a fixed benchmark. You can see it got 19.1 frames per second here. And that's a C grade rating there, so not really playable. Now I ran some other benchmarks, and more importantly, I had a look here at the temperatures to get an idea of just how, run, how hot that Atom X5 Z8500 is running. I'll just show you those now. So minimize here to the desktop. I ran a 3D mark as well. I'm going to show you some of those scores here I got. So this is the score. Uh, sorry, this is the CloudGate 1.1 score here. And I'll just bring that up closer to the camera so you can see those scores. See the physics and graphics score right there. I don't want that. And right here is the Ice Storm 1.2 score. And keep an eye on the graphics score here of 20,000 and physics of 14,000 more or less. And this is the Techlast X98 Pro score before I did my mod. Okay, so completely stock. And you can see it gets a much higher score there. Now I'm not trying to make the tablet look good or bad or anything like that. These are just the scores I've got. From running these benchmarks, straightforward. If I had run this with the mod, it would be even higher than that, that I ran on the old tablet. And here is the Geekbench 3 score again. Now I'll just show you the score that the X98 Pro got running the same chipset. So a little bit higher there, about 200 points on the multi-core score. Uh, probably down to the graphics drivers or something, why the uh, the tablet here, the T100HA, isn't running probably as fast down to drivers there. I did try to update the drivers with the Intel driver utility and it wouldn't let me because it doesn't use the generic drivers but more ASUS's own drivers. And this is a problem I ran into on the old T100TA model and it's here again. Now more importantly those temperatures. Did it throttle? Let's have a look. Uh, no, but it did get hot, 84 degrees, but a key, a hair up, this is here it says that uh, thermal throttling, no there, but it did get, yeah, 84. So it gets almost as hot as my Ticklast X98 Pro I tested, but not quite to the point where it starts to throttle, which I think is about 86 degrees, but it's not far off that. I think if you were charging and gaming for longer periods, it would definitely probably throttle and I'm going to test that some more too so I will have some up and coming game tests of Counter-Strike, uh, League of Legends, a few other games there and by the time I finish all those test runs no doubt it will probably throttle is my guess here that uh, it will increase so I'll have to see that in a future video. So there's the temperatures there you can see that the Cherry Trail is definitely quite a hot chip although I didn't have any throttling issues on my Surface 3 running the X7 Atom Cherry Trail that must have better cooling. I think Microsoft used the actual whole back of the tablet as a, as a huge heat sink. And that never surpassed 76 degrees on my Surface 3. So a big difference there. These, these tablets here are getting a little bit hotter. And the thing too here with this uh, transformer book here is the back is plastic, I think. Pretty sure that's plastic. Um, and it's not going to transmit the heat as well as the metal casing of the X98 Pro or metal casing of the Surface 3 as well. So there's a quick look there at a couple of benchmarks and the temperatures. Thank you for watching the video. I'll have more up and coming on this tablet, so do stay tuned to the channel if you are interested in that. Bye for now.